Hey there, welcome to my channel. The holidays have just passed and I have a sneaking suspicion that a lot of you just got your first 3D printer or your second or third 3D printer. Right here, I have a Bamboo Labs A1 Mini and today I'm gonna put some upgrades on it, some quality of life upgrades. Everything I have that I will display and show is free online and I'll be sure to link those down below in the description. So stick around and let's get into it. All right, so for the first build we have here is just the necessity you have to have with these printers. As they purge, they just shoot off the side here. So this is a simple bucket. It will attach to the arm. So since I do not have an AMS light, um, this will just be a simple bucket on the side. If you do have an AMS and you're gonna be shooting off a lot of filament, I would suggest you put a bucket right down here with the deflector and I'll show you the deflector here in a second. But since I don't have an AMS with this unit, um, it's just gonna be this on the side because there's not gonna be very much waste coming off. So first things first, everything I printed is in PETG because I do mostly use PLA with this. So it won't stick to it. If you use mostly PETG or PETG, then I would suggest you use a PLA because they don't stick to each other. So comes in two pieces. This part is going to fit, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this. It's gonna fit right here. Just go ahead and snap it on. The bucket goes on just like this. So this comes with two kind of, kills two birds with one stone. You have the deflector, you have the bucket. Since again, I'm not gonna be using this too much with an AMS or at all with an AMS. Um, I'm not worried about this filling up with one print. I usually mostly just use this for um, single colors. So that slides on, slides off. Um, I've done some test prints with this. It doesn't fling off, it doesn't fall off. The biggest thing I would say this has with it is that it does kind of when the machine's vibrating, you will hear the filament in here vibrating. Okay, the other option you have is if you do have an AMS, um, print off a bucket, you can put it underneath here. You can print off just one of these little fins um, and they go on same with it, same way. This is angled at a 45 degree angle. I'll pull this off so you can see. Um, and so the filament, when it shoots off, it will be deflected down instead of being a 90 degree where it has a chance of bouncing back onto the plate. So we'll go ahead and throw this one back on because that's what I'm gonna use. And there's the first upgrade. All right, these next two are all to do with the hub. The hub is right here, and this is where all your PTFE tubes, if you do have an AMS, or if you are just using it um, as a single color unit, uh, everything comes into here. I've seen some complaints online of people saying these bend and they break really easily. So people have come up with solutions, and this first one is just the, the hub armor. Sorry, the hub armor is right here. Um, it just slides on, make sure, the kind of the cut out goes in the back, slides on, push it all the way down, boom, you're done. The next one is a dust cover, since I am only using one of these openings, is a dust cover with a notch cut out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my PTFE tubes in right there. If you look at the dust cover, let's see if I can get this on camera, it has little grooves, okay, right down through here, and it's just gonna slide on over these little connector pieces. Okay, so that is now nice and snug. No bending will happen there anymore. All right, some further issues that I've seen online with people. Um, they're saying these connector pieces, let's see if I can turn this so you can see it a little bit better. These connector pieces right here they bend and they move and there's a chance they can break. Some people said these, these have broken and they're very, they, you can't replace them. So once they're done, the machine's done. And that is not fun for anybody. So you print off these little springy connectors and they will take some of the load off of this point right down here. Sorry, my hand's in the way. This point is the weakest point because it's gonna be moving a lot. Um, if there's the least amounts of least amount of flexibility through there. So this is just going to add some sturdiness to that. So what you're going to do. Here we 
You're just going to go over the clip and you're going to push it into grooves. Make sure it's down. I like to face mine backwards because then you don't see the line or anything like that. Okay, and then the longer one goes over here by the motor. If you can't get it on over the top, you can put it on and slide it down and it should fit just fine like that. All right, so we know from the Bamboo Labs X1C to the A1 Mini, these are very fast machines. Um, and they use a combination of lubricants like a grease or an oil. The oils do go on right through here and the grease does go on the Z screw. Um, but with the oils and this machine moving so fast back and forward, there are gonna be quite a few debris collecting on this because that surface is gonna be sticky um, and those oils are really gonna attract it. So um, with this A1 Mini, there's printable dust covers that when the machine's not in use, I will be using. So the dust covers, they just snap on pretty easily um, as I struggle. There we go. Maybe. No. Like that. Simple. Um, I didn't have the gantry all the way over. So again, the dust cover comes on like this. It does have some cutouts for the grooves, but it's going to prevent um, any debris from getting on this Z-Rod and it's also going to stop this head from moving. Um, the next one just goes down here and you just slide it on and it does snap into place and it also will lock your bed from moving as well. Um, with this 3D print, the last thing I'm going to show you is um, something to make it portable and that's this handle. And I'm going to show you how to install it. I 3D printed this in PEG. It is pretty solid, pretty sturdy and it's going to replace this cap right here. Where I see this printer being used a lot is for me, I pick it up and I move it quite a bit. It's not in a permanent home on my uh, in my setup quite yet. I have my two X1s right here and my A1. I put a board on the ground, uh, some shelving that I have right here. I laid on the ground and that's where that A1 prints most of the time. So it's not in a set spot or anything like that. And so this is a very portable machine. If you're a college student, you couldn't get a machine better than this uh, right out of the gate. Right now, I do think they are 175, and so it is it is perfect to be a portable um, little mighty machine. This uh, I name all my printers after superheroes. This one's Ant-Man. So um, Ant-Man's going to be getting a handle and being a portable machine. And uh, with these upgrades, hopefully, uh, I am able to extend Ant-Man's life and keep the components of Ant-Man intact. So let's go ahead and get this installed. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that, and then that's where it's going to stay. All right, so starting off, I've already done the courtesy of unscrewing everything. This is the only part of the print that is going to have something that's not 3D printed. These screws, and they come with the printer, so you're just going to reuse them. So you're going to pop off the top. The screw for that is right here. So you're going to pop it off. Pull it out. I'm going to go ahead and just flip this over. No, I'm not. I'm just going to go ahead and put the screw right there. Long screw goes in the front. If you can't remember that, figure out a system to help you remember that. Then you're going to have a cap with three screws. One in the front, or sorry, two in the front, one in the back, and then you're going to have the Z screw right here. So you're going to unscrew those, and you're going to take the cap off, and you got three screws, and they're all the same, so it doesn't matter where they go. Okay, on this right here, I don't know if you can see it. I'm kind of looking over here. Um, there's a hole, a large hole right here. Um, that is going to be where the Z screw goes. Um, so I'm just going to quickly clean some of that out. There we go. Okay, this fits, this front part has a groove and it fits right there. So I'm going to kind of just assemble it the way I took things out. So first one's first, I'm gonna go ahead and do the back. Um, this handle does have holes in the handle itself. So you can put your Allen key through and so you don't have to like go through this, this way. You can just put it through that way. Does that make sense? So first one's in. Second one. 
because we want to guide it. There, third one. I'm getting a new screwdriver set, so hopefully they have some better hex keys because these little Allen wrenches uh, that the printer came with, they, they're good, but and it can do better. Okay, so that's that. And then the front one, which is gonna go right here. This one might be kind of challenging because the uh, The opening had some stringing going on. It happens though. Just go ahead and stick your Allen wrench in there and um, kind of move it around in a circle and it will open up and expand that opening for the screw. All right, there you have it. The handle is on. And now we have a very portable machine. Um, like I said, this this machine does scream kind of me to. It's it's a portable machine. It's meant to move around. Um, it's perfect for people who maybe can't have a big setup like this. Um, it's very light and it's very versatile and it's quick. Okay, um, the dust covers I do love um, because this isn't going to wobble wobble around. On a trip, this is not going to slam forward. Um, the cable clips are going to keep the longevity of this wire um, intact, and it's going to be very helpful. The hub is not going to break. Nothing's going to get down here and clog my extruder. And then I'm also going to keep my room cleaner and not have filament flung off the side. So these are some good 3D prints to start with uh, for your Bamboo Labs A1 Mini, or even if you have besides the handle. Um, everything else and the dust covers, they're going to be a little bit bigger, but everything else besides the handle is going to be compatible with the A1 and it's going to be able to go on the A1. Um, like I said, the dust covers, they're just going to be larger. Um, and then also with this, you could do it, but if you have an AMS, I recommend strongly that you get a bucket and you just place it right here with a deflector facing down because this was going to fill up quick with, uh, multicolored prints. Um, so those are my upgrades for right now. I'm going to do some more. I've seen some cable chains that would look pretty good right here. Um, a cable chain on the back towards this power supply unit uh, and the, the hotbed. And so maybe I'll do those. If you guys want to see that, like and subscribe. Um, comment. What other upgrades do you think I should do or add? Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to help and happy to answer. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm Queso Builds. All right, next one. Pretty simple, straightforward build. Um, it's this little dust cover that I just dropped.